Hello! Today I'll be continuing the troubleshooting series that I'm doing for Mac. Today, following this flowchart, I will be talking about what to do in safe mode. Uh, how to get into safe mode and uh, what you can do in there, what, what's the use of safe mode. And so, in order to do that, you will need to restart your computer. So I'll be switching over to my second camera in order to film what's going on with that. So what you want to do is go up to the Apple at the top left corner there and click restart and the computer will shut off. Which you, then what you want to do is hold down the shift key as soon as the computer turns off. You'll see it kind of loading there. There we go. Once you hear the chime, there it is. Hold down shift, just like that. And you'll sit here and wait. You'll see a loading bar. All right, and so that oftentimes does take a little bit longer to load up into safe mode than usual. You'll know you're in safe mode though, because you can see up here at the top right where it says safe boot. And then it takes you to your login screen where you can log in with your different user accounts. So I'll click into mine, type in your password. And the benefit of safe mode is that with starting up, I do not have any of my startup items. And so any application that typically loads settings or applications as soon as you start up is disabled when you go into safe mode. So if there is an issue from one of those apps or settings that when it loads, it causes an issue on your computer, going into safe mode, you can see if the problem continues in safe mode or not. And so I can come into here and now I'm, I'm still running in safe mode. It looks just like any other mode and I can try to recreate whatever problem was happening before and try to get the issue to occur. If the issue does not occur in safe mode, then you can be pretty sure that it's something related to startup. One of your startup items, one of your startup applications that is causing a problem for your computer. Whereas if, it, if the issue does still occur in safe mode, then you know it's not necessarily related to something that starts up with the computer, so you can look elsewhere. So once you're done with safe mode, you can go ahead and hit the apple and restart, and that'll do it for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.